Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's ask the question, should you use an image view or ad mob for custom banner ads? So a few days ago, I had a really good question come in on one of the comments and I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. So this uh, comes from Adam Major and it came on the last live stream we did, but it, he put it on the replay so it wasn't while we were doing the live stream, so we couldn't answer it then. But here's what he says. He says, great stream as usual. I have a question. The client asked if he could put a banner so that it displays for a month in my application. I wonder how to do it. One, insert an image view instead of ad mob. Two, use ad mob house ads slash direct sold campaigns. As I understand, self-promotion campaigns of my own applications or websites are completely free, although ad mob wants me to define payment methods in Google ads. And then he goes on to talk about all the stuff he has to set up in ad mob just in order to get it, to get it working. But he's wondering whether or not, which is the best solution. Right, and when, when I first read the question and I started to reply to it, I thought, yeah, you can just do a house ad. That would probably be easiest because then that way you can change the ad if you want to. You can add it. You can remove it. You could put, you know, take it down, put it back next month or whatever. And then I thought about all the overhead that AdMob comes with it. In fact, we do have clients that wanted to put their own banner ads in the application. So for their own products, like not, they didn't want to use it as a revenue stream. They just wanted to be able to promote their own stuff. And in that situation, we set up an admin site for them so they could go through and put the URL for their, you know, put the URL for the image, upload an image, uh, put whatever text they wanted to for the ad, you know, have a boolean there to show the ad or not show the ad, and then that way they have full control over that. But Adam, as a developer, you don't need to have an admin site at all. You could just do it for your clients. You could be as simple as, yeah, showing an image view. When the application loads up, it checks a remote config file. And this could be Firebase Remote Config if you want to get fancy with it, but you could really just have a JSON file sitting on a web server, say, um, you know, well, I would say appads.txt, but something that was unique to this application, like a unique URL, people couldn't guess it, which just has JSON, you FTP to it, you make changes to the JSON file, and then the application checks to see whether or not it should show the ad, and if it should, what URL should it show. And then that way you don't have to keep redistributing the ad redistributing the app every time you wanted to make changes to the ad for your client. If you want them to do it, then I would suggest doing it, giving them some sort of admin interface to do it, or let them set up AdMob on their own and then integrate it that way, and let them handle all the privacy policy changes, the tracking, all the overhead that AdMob comes with it, right? If that's all that they want to do, uh, but don't let them update that JSON file. If you just want the JSON file, like the quick and dirty route, don't let them do it because Sure, I mean, even though they fully understand what JSON is and they'd have to be very, very careful with it, they're going to mess something up. And then it's going to not work. And then whose fault is it going to be? It's going to be your fault, right? So never give it. Like, I, I've made this mistake several times in the past where I try to give my, my clients access to the database. Oh, God. I mean, I've worked in corporate environments where they would cringe if they knew I'd done that. But I thought, that's just simple. Just go into this table, change this value. It should be fine, right? And then, of course, they're going through. They're just deleting things. They're just, like, they're just going crazy with the database, right? And then everything stops working, right? As a developer, you only want to give them... You, you, you can only trust your clients so much, right, if they're not technical with the technical ability that they have. So... I wanted to get your guys' opinion of this because I've done this before in the past where we've had, uh, we wanted to have pop-up ads come up to, like in the early days, before we, before I was even using AdMob, uh, to have pop-up ads that come up and uh, I, I wanted to be, I didn't want to have to keep re-releasing the apps every single time I had a new app come out and I wanted to cross-promote, so I had like a JSON file just sitting on a web server and then the app opens up, checks the JSON file parses it. If it's if there's no internet connection, it doesn't do it, doesn't show the pop-up, obviously. If there is, then it will show it. That kind of stuff. So what are the rest of you guys? Have you ever implemented a solution like this? What do you think is the best solution in Adam's situation? Do you think you should go with ad mob house ads? Do you think you should go with Firebase Remote Config? Or do you think you should just, you know, put a JSON, uh, just put some sort of remote file someplace? Or I guess the fourth option would be Every time the client wants something different, just keep re-releasing the application. So anyway, it was a really good question. Let me know what you guys think, especially 
fellow app developers out there. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.